Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are looking at the latest release from Founders Brewing. This is the newest installment in their backstage series. This is Mango Magnifico. Coming in at 10% alcohol by volume, it's an ale fermented with mangoes and habanero peppers. Two of my favorite things. I love spicy foods. I love mangoes, especially in beer, so looking forward to this one. The previous release in this series was Doom, so it's coming off that one. I really enjoyed that one. Not everyone did, but to each their own. So let me get this one into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give me the final verdict on the Founders Mango Magnifico. All right, guys, the aroma on the Mango Magnifico. Wow, definitely getting those mangoes. Big, juicy sweetness. A little bit of a, a tropical note to it. There's definitely a wheat uh, malt component in this one. I'm not sure of the base malt, but there definitely seems to be some wheat in it. A little bit of a sweet breadiness. A little bit of a, a, a slight kind of effervescent sweetness coming off of it. Yeah, just a really nice smelling beer. All right, guys, so the taste on the Mango Magnifico. Cheers. Oh, wow, it's really nice. Yeah, right the front of the tongue. You're immediately hit with a big kind of tropical juicy note, a juicy sweetness. A um, little bit of a, a hinge of like tartness in there from the fruit itself, not like a sour or anything. Middle of the mouth, wow, this thing just takes over. Big, big body on it. I wasn't expecting it. Lots of sweet uh, mango juiciness kind of coming on there. And I'm thinking there's got to be some wheat in this. Just it feels like a wheat beer. Lots of body to it. Just kind of coats the tongue. Oh, there's that pepper. I was waiting for it. I didn't get the pepper at first, but it, right back here, it just started to hit me. Um, it's, a, it's a slight, slight kind of peppery burn in the aftertaste. I'm getting more mango, a little bit of a, a chili pepper skin type of flavor. You know, I love hot foods, but don't let this be, don't be afraid of this one. It's not overly hot at all. Um, it is being compounded a little bit the more I drink of it, but there's definitely a heat component to it. But I think that heat kind of accentuates the sweetness from the mango. And there, it's a very, very neutral malt. Malt, bone, malt, malt flavor to this one, pardon me. Uh, it's a bready, biscuity a little bit, and the mango and the pepper really play off this. It's a pretty simple beer, but there's kind of a beauty in its simplicity. It's really enjoyable to drink, and it's nothing like I've ever had before. It's, it's very cool stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Founders Mango Magnifico, 10% alcohol by volume. Very, very, very limited, so pick it up if you can, guys. Going to give this one a B plus. I love mangoes. I love habaneros. I love Founders beer. You know, I think this beer, when they combine them, it came out to a pretty nice beer. I think it's a little bit simplistic than maybe a special release should be, but that's, you know, just my personal opinion. Um, it drinks really nice. You know, if you like mangoes, you like hot foods, this would be a great food pairing for something. It's an interesting beer. Um, I just don't think that it's an A-level beer. I don't know what it's missing. It's hard for me to pinpoint one thing and say, this is what it needed. All I can tell you is it's all there. What's here, it just, you know, it's not exciting, I guess. It's not super exciting like some of the previous releases have been. But still, you know, a B-plus Founders beer is still a pretty good beer. So with that said, definitely check this one out. Is it worth the hype? I think so. Getting a B-plus for me. And remember, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers. <laughs>